I hit things. Like, like the petticoat goes wee and wee and that's my favorite thing about my Halloween costume. Even though this isn't really any of it. I think it's the crown and it's a petticoat but it's not the dress or anything. This isn't even the shirt I wore when I wasn't wearing the dress for uh, trick or treat. I went to play with the petticoat. So yeah, I'm the red queen thing. Yeah. And then my horse. Not my horse. Sort of my horse. Might as well be. This is not really. <laughs> the horse I ride at horseback riding was Tweedle Dom. And then this girl at my barn was Alice. And her horse was Teal D because they look alike. My are Moxie and Gracie. I'll show you a picture. Except this is a webcam video when I'm lazy and, you know, I'll do it next week. But I'm not falling asleep ridiculously early and waking up like 20 minutes before I had to film a video. So, yeah, there's that. Queer Halloween memory. Uh, I must have been between like the ages of 6. I probably was 6. I could have been 7 though. I... Went trick or treating two times a year. I went once in. This wasn't really my neighborhood, but I, mean, I only went trick or treating once. Maybe it was when I was seven. I don't know. No, I went once. Oh, I definitely went trick or treating with at my grandparents' neighborhood, my maternal grandparents' neighborhood. And my cousins would go, and we'd get there early. Like I would get there early, and I'd hope pass out candy to the first few people and this year or this particular year this little girl came up to the door and went give me candy and her mom was like yeah we tried tr tr teaching her a trick or a treat but that didn't work and then the little girl just kind of grabbed Reese's Pieces and or not Reese's Pieces they didn't have those back but Reese's Cup and like ran off and it was really adorable and I told that story very badly but it was really adorable and then you know, after trick or treat my cousins and I would all sit together and give each other the candy we didn't like actually we would trade the candy and I would give them most of my candy because I don't I'm not a candy person yeah so that's just basically all I can tell you my friend who also teaches my Russian literature class, which I read Eugene Onegin in. And then we read Father's and Sons, and now we're reading Crime and Punishment. It's really fun. But yeah, she ended up trick-or-treating at my house. She was in this group of people. You know, I know none of you care about this story. I'm telling you anyway, so I'm not lame. With my two-minute video, so now it's three, so I could probably end be safe, but whatever. And, you know... Like, the first two people were like, oh, I'm Alice, and the person was like, oh, I'm a red queen, and we're like, oh, twinsies. And I turned around to give the other people her candy, she's like, Chelsea, and I was like, Julia. It was a very happy moment. And then I showed her where my room was so she could creep on me properly, even though I'm never in my room. That's beside the point. Okay, this is still shorter than everybody else's, but that means I can be awesome again this week. So, bye. Oh, happy time change, everybody. This Sunday, right? Yeah, that's why I'm changing my clocks. So it better be this Sunday. If not, then I'm making it.